After waiting five years, hundreds of families, victims of Sunset Mesa funeral directors, have some sense of closure. The two operators of Sunset Mesa have been sentenced to federal prison for giving families cremated remains that were not the remains of their loved ones. Instead, selling bodies or body parts without their family's knowledge. Denver 7's Cola Bordelon has been following this story since the beginning. And she reports what changes the state's made since this investigation and also what work still needs to be done. By the time we got married a year later, um, I was 18, he was 21. Danielle and David McCarthy spent more than two decades happily married. So he had the classic widowmaker heart attack. The veteran died on Father's Day in 2017. My husband didn't feel any pain um, upon his death. It still doesn't stop the feeling that somebody murdered my dead husband. A feeling she can't shake after working with Sunset Mesa funeral directors in Montrose, where she thought her husband was cremated. And she put the bag down and it thunked and she goes, well, I had to remember to stop cutting on him because you needed ashes. Right. <laughs> Who says that to a widow of 25 years? Then the FBI called her after shutting down the funeral home that doubled as a body broker in 2018. I was told that my husband had been dismembered and sold. On this Zoom call. And so Jazzy and Danielle, you two have never met before, right? Meeting another woman. I'm in Montrose. Nice. Nope. I left uh, 2018 and I didn't look back. Who shares the same trauma. My husband died in August of 2015. I was going to have him cremated. She wanted to know if um, I wanted to donate his body. And I said, absolutely not. She is Megan Hess, one of the operators of Sunset Mesa. She was very personable with me, calling me a lot, asking me, if I'd ever ridden in a limousine, would I like to go do a pedicure? To have her then later be found that she was harvesting bodies and selling body parts. Hess was sentenced to 20 years in federal prison after pleading guilty to one count of mail fraud and aiding and abetting. Her mom, Shirley Koch, got 15 years on the same charges. It was a scream of, a silent scream of gratitude that this was finally over. Both she and her mother were wearing bright red with this um, like bright gold jewelry on. And immediately handcuffs went on, the jewelry came off and they set it on the table and we're escorting them out. State Representative Matt Soper was in the courtroom. I feel like it should have been a lot more than 20 years. The plea agreement says from 2010 to 2018, the defendants stole the bodies or body parts of hundreds of victims. Their body has ended up in a foreign country or was used as an experimental piece for a foreign military or for a collector and that it was plastinized. And they said, we thought we were given their remains and it turned out to be cat litter and concrete. These are the worst body snatchers ever in American history and they should um, never, ever see the light of day again. In 2020, Soper helped pass a bill that made abuse of a corpse a felony instead of a low-level misdemeanor. He says that couldn't be applied in the Sunset Mesa case retroactively. Really, the next step from here in my mind is a federal abuse of a corpse uh, statute. Megan Hess and Shirley Koch are the little fish. It's the buyers of these bodies around the world that are the big fish, and only the federal government can go after the big fish. The people who buy bodies to plastinize them and have in their lavish homes, those are very sick individuals. We need better laws. We need to understand this entire death care industry. We also need to understand the entire body brokering industry. Hoping for legislative changes. I want to get over that because what it's over. It's over. What can I do? While victims try to move on. I'm hoping that we can all start finding a place to heal. And work to make sure no one else is preyed upon like this again at one of the most vulnerable times in a person's life. Colette Bordelon, Denver 7. And Representative Soper is looking toward the 2024 legislative session to start regulating morticians and have more certification requirements. Colorado is the only state that doesn't do it. The only requirements needed to fill out the paperwork and become a funeral director here be at least 18 years old and not have a criminal record.